So when I was in the Ranger indoctrination program, which is a uh, it's a it's a program that you know you you pass it. It's a course. It's a Ranger course. And um, back when I was doing it, I want to say it was about uh, two weeks long. I, I can't really remember exactly. It was years ago. But uh, anyways, basically you pass this course and uh, you get stationed in a Ranger battalion. Anyways, um, after after I completed airborne school, I went to this ranger indoctrination program. It was part of my contract. But uh, anyways, I was put in a holdover platoon. What that meant was that uh, you know me and the the other guys in the platoon we had to we had to wait basically until the next course was going to start. So here we are in the in the ranger indoctrination holdover platoon. Everybody's fucking nervous, scared shitless, brave, ready, you know, courageous. You know, a whole bunch of mixed feelings. Some people were very excited about it. Some people were very nervous because we all knew this was, this was going to be a very difficult course. But uh, anyways, about a week or so in the holdover platoon, the uh, the first sergeant, the ranger first sergeant, came by to introduce himself to us and, uh, you know, pretty much scope us out. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> so this one day, the first sergeant came by and uh, he brought a friend with him. Uh, I wish I could remember this soldier's name, uh, but apparently he was actually a professional mixed martial arts fighter. And uh, from what I understood, he actually uh, he actually fought in UFC a few times. But uh, anyways, um, so one day our first sergeant uh, made a little wager with us. He, uh, he took us all into the gym, and uh, he told us, he said, if anybody could beat this guy in a wrestling match, that... that we would they would automatically get you know pass through the course so you know if you go one one with this guy and you beat him yourself then you don't you, you don't even have to go through the ranger indoctrination program you would automatically be you would automatically pass that's it you beat this guy one time and that's it you're in a ranger battalion you don't you do not have to do the ranger indoctrination program so it was a pretty sweet deal and there was probably about 20 or 30 of us so you know we're thinking, hey, you know, between the 20 and 30 of us, you know, we got people of all ages, all sizes, all strengths, abilities, all that good shit. So we figure, hey, you know, somebody's got to be able to beat this guy, right? <laughs> Wrong. So this is how it went. We all, we were all sitting in the in the gym, right? We were standing, standing around, whatever. And uh, one by one, uh, you know, we had challengers challenging this guy to a wrestling match. There, there's only one rule, okay? The rule was. You know, it would be a wrestling match, but if you if you took a swing at this guy, then it, all, all bets are off. It's, it'd be a full-on brawl. He said, you know, the, the guy told us, he said, I'm not going to hit you guys unless you guys hit me. So if you want to take it there, you know, we could do that, and, and, and I'll, I'll strike back just like you do me. So this is it. I'm standing around, and of course, you know, there's no fucking way I'm going to challenge this guy. Look at me. Do I look like I could take on a professional fucking mixed martial arts fighter? Fuck no. So I stood there and watched as he took down each of my buddies one by one. I mean, I'm talking five, six, maybe seven guys total challenged this guy, and he took each and every one of them down. It was insane. And th the thing is, you know, you would figure after three or four matches, the guy would start to get tired, right? He'd start to get fatigued. Wrong. Check this out. He took each guy out one by one within three minutes apiece, sometimes less. So anyways, we're all standing in complete awe thinking, how the fuck is this guy so damn powerful? It was ridiculous. So then finally, the, the last guy the, to, to face this guy was, my, was a good buddy of mine. I went through basic training with him. I went through uh, airborne with him. And so we were here together at the Ranger Indoctrination Program. Now, I'm not going to tell my buddy's name because, you know, I don't want to put his information out there on the internet. But uh, anyways, my buddy was a big freaking huge roided out black dude i'm saying this guy was a little over probably i don't know maybe six three six four feet tall he's pretty tall and this guy had muscles that just huge fucking muscles he was like a freaking ox or some shit he was probably the biggest strongest guy there in our in our platoon out of 20 or 30 guys it was pretty crazy but uh, anyways so lincoln's the last guy to go and you know is one of those guys where you just take one good look at him and you know right off the bat that dude could fuck you up if he wanted to so my buddy goes out there and we're all thinking surely if anybody stands a chance against this freaking roided out UFC mixed martial arts ranger it'd be this guy so he goes out there and they go at it they start fighting they start wrestling going going crazy they're on the floor tumbling each other back and forth 
and then finally and decides to get a little ballsy so and takes a swing at this guy the guy catches his arm freaking pulls him to the ground pins him in this crazy freaking awesome pos position locks his whole body up and before you know it my buddy's tapping out like a freaking baby it was insane nobody could take this guy down and it was so ballsy of the first sergeant to even suggest that if you could beat this guy that that you wouldn't even have to go through the course but let me tell you this when the first sergeant made this this wager he had all the confidence in the world written all over his face and of course we were all a little skeptical about it because this just seemed too good to be true beat one guy and pass a ranger indoctrination course become a become a US Army Airborne Ranger just like that it was pretty insane Anyways, here's the aftermath. So because none of us could take this guy down, the each of the six or seven dudes that went up against him had to do 100 elevated push-ups. Now, an elevated push-up in ranger school, or uh, in the ranger indoctrination program at least, is where you get in the push-up position, and you have a buddy stand up behind you, and then he has to pick up your feet and prop his, he has to prop your feet on top of his shoulders while he's standing. So you're in a completely elevated, almost upside down position doing 100 push-ups. So we're all standing around looking like a bunch of assholes trying to figure out, you know, you know, what do we do? You know, should we just stand here and watch or should we freaking leave? So the next thing you know, before anybody can even make a decision, the first sergeant tells everybody else to get down and start doing push-ups. So while these six or seven losers are doing elevated push-ups, we're all doing regular push-ups on the ground, looking like a bunch of assholes, feeling completely defeated. It was a very memorable day. I am never going to forget that story. That was possibly the first time I ever realized exactly how awesome and badass a U.S. Army Airborne Ranger is. Those motherfuckers are hardcore as shit. But, um, so by now you guys are probably wondering, you know, did I become an Army Airborne Ranger, you know? Uh, the truth is I didn't, alright? I'm gonna share with you guys a story that I have told very few people just because it's so fucking embarrassing. So this is what happened. This is my story, okay? Uh, about a week later after that little, uh, after that little, uh, spar in the gym, um, the, you know, our two weeks was up. And uh, the, the previous ranger indoctrination course had been completed, and so it was now time to start the next course. So the way this worked out was, uh, you know, we were all sitting outside on, the, on these bleachers. Uh, you know, we're all quiet as shit, sitting in suspense, you know, waiting for that, that ranger in instructor, the, the RI, to come by. And uh, next thing you know, he shows up, walking very casually, walks up to us. And, uh, you know, he's got a, a buddy with him, another ranger soldier, uh, I'm guessing another RI uh, instructor. So these guys roll up to us, they take one good look at us, and immediately they, they start drilling the shit out of us. Now, if most of you don't know what a smoke session is, a smoke session is pretty much, uh, it's, it's physical discipline, you know. Uh, they, they make you do push-ups, they yell in your face, you know, try to intimidate you. Uh, they make you do sit-ups, push-ups, whatever kind of crazy exercises they could think to do uh, just to wear you out. And, uh, you know, all the while they're yelling in your fucking face, uh, acting like total you know, fucking monsters just to, you know, wear out your, your mental state as well as your physical state. So uh, they start making us do push-ups, right? And, uh, you know, so the 20 or 30 of us, you know, we're all, we're all in line on the ground fucking doing push-ups and shit while this instructor is walking around sizing us up just yelling at the top of his lungs just uh, you know just trying to wear us out instantly it was pretty intense so you know we're all doing push-ups and it's been a good it's been a good uh, six minutes straight and they're just yelling at us making telling us to go faster telling us to <clears throat> to stop you know they make you pause and then they say all right, they say keep going and you gotta go back down and do some more until they say stop again so um Next thing you know, the ranger instructor, he's walking through us carefully, you know, and uh, he's, he gives me an out, basically, and this is what he says. He says to the whole group, not just me, he says, he says, now if you don't want to be here, if you don't want to do this shit anymore, all you got to do is get up and walk away, just walk away, go sit your ass down on the bleachers, and I won't even mess with you anymore. So, do we have anybody at all, anybody who doesn't want to be here, anybody who doesn't want to do this, because I don't want you to waste my time anymore. So, I'm sitting there, right? Or I'm not sitting, but I'm in the push-up position. And I'm thinking to myself, this is it. This is my out. So, here's what I do, alright? 
I'm doing push-ups, and all my buddies all around me were all doing push-ups. So I, I gather up every bit of courage in my little private chest, and I slowly rise up to my feet. And this ranger instructor looks at me in complete awe. Like, he can't believe that somebody is about to drop out on the first fucking day before the course has even begun. And, of course, I'm, as, I'm embarrassed as shit, you know, because I'm pretty much admitting defeat uh, in front of the whole platoon. So, you know, I get up, you know, with every bit of courage that I have in me, and I carefully walk through my peers, making sure not to trip over anybody or step on anybody's hands while they're doing push-ups, and I go sit my ass down on the bleachers. The instructor gave me one more look. And then looked away as if the whole thing never happened and continued to drill my buddies. It was a very embarrassing moment in my life. And, uh, you know, it's, I'm, actually, I'm actually surprised that I'm about to put this out there on the internet. Because uh, it's such an embarrassing story. And uh, I really did feel bad for my friends. You know, I, I, knew, I knew quite a few of them, especially the ones that I went through basic and airborne with. Were, uh, they were counting on me to, to do this course with them. But the truth is, after two weeks of um, being in that holdover platoon and just being around all those rangers and getting a feel for what kind of soldiers they were, uh, you know, I just made the decision that, that you know, the ranger life was just not for me. And, uh, hey, that's okay. You know, the truth is not everybody's cut out to be a ranger. And, uh, you know, there's no shame in admitting that, guys. Uh, you know, we've got <clears throat> we've got plenty of great fucking, you know, ranger quality soldiers all over all over the states that are, you know, just phenomenal fucking leaders. And uh, the truth is, you know, most of them aren't rangers, you know, and that's just, uh, you know, that's just, that's just a decision that that, you know, you either make or you don't. But um, but hey, you know what? <clears throat> I dropped out and uh, a few weeks later. I got uh, transferred over to my active duty station where I stayed for the last three years of my contract and then ended up, ended up being uh, an equally badass fucking unit and uh, I was very proud to serve there and uh, you know it was just it was a, a very good battalion but uh, yeah that's my story um, so yeah if you guys ever decide to join the army and decide you want to be an airborne ranger just make sure make sure that you're ready for that shit all right if you're fucking, if you're not fucking hard as a rock and ready to eat some fucking nails, don't do it. Don't even ask it. Don't request it. Because that shit is not easy. I promise you. And, uh, that's it. Chili out. Rangers, Rangers.